all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we we'll bring you back to back updates and information as see the hot in case you have not joined our social media handle uh, what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop it will be the first we'll collect them let's go down to the news proper as see the hot as i'm going to bring you the full details of the happenings in the land today um uh, it's a day of chaos, a Black Friday in Imo State, uh, as Imo State school has gone under siege uh, as hoodlums invade premises cut away uh, with government property. This one is happening live in Imo State, uh, where Hope Uzondenjo is the governor of the state. Uh, meanwhile, before I continue, I have to tell you that... Uh, Things is becoming very hard, especially uh, even in the southeastern part of Nigeria. The present government has not been very helpful. Uh, their decisions and um, their decisions and actions that have been taken so far has not been in the interest of the people. They are actually doing what they believe that is going to favor them or that is going to uh, benefit the gov benefit the the politicians more. Uh, all the actions taken and all the protocol has not been in the interest of the masses. Of course, you know that. Uh, the first declaration of the president without consideration is uh, alleviating fuel subsidy, taking away fuel subsidy. He said fuel subsidy is gone. And other decisions that have been made by this present government, according to his statement before he assumed office, he said uh, widen the tax net and reduce the people's purchasing power. And that is what is actually happening now. And many people thought that it was a joke uh, when the president made that statement during his campaign. You know, mostly people in this side of the world take everything to be a joke. Meanwhile, let's go down to the full detail of the information. Uh, all is not well with Imo Secondary School, especially schools that are located outside the town. Information available to our news desk revealed that hoodlums are now wrecking serious havoc in public schools, especially mixed with female institutions. Apart from cutting away school properties like lockers, chairs, doors, tables, and many other properties, the so-called bad boys harassed the female students uh, in other way. The worst hit is urban secondary school, World Bank New Owere Imo State. Decks, lockers belonging to students have all been taken away by hoodlums. Even the doors of staff rooms and that of the principal office and no more. Our reporter who, who visited the place observed that the students and teachers there are in a big problem as a result of threats that they are facing now. Some of some of female students there allege that they are facing serious uh, harassment on daily basis, adding that most of them are now afraid of coming to school. It was gathered that a few days ago, one of the students was uh, someone had canal knowledge of the one of the students mercilessly by hoodlums and action has brought fear among the students. Parents and concerned people of the area are now calling on the parents. To come to their rescue as a matter of urgency and protect the school children teachers properties another one is for the secondary school technical school in Mbito, local government in gurus uh, commercial uh, this one is actually happening live now in imo state uh, the land of hope who's on danger um that students are now becoming very afraid of even going to school because of the actions of hoodlums in some of this area. Um, th this, some of these things we are not like this before, uh, but in the present day Nigeria, uh, things have actually changed uh, with force due to hunger and um, hardship that um, the people in the nation have found themselves. And as it is, um, I'm telling you that uh, every day we believe we have been believing uh, that things is going to be better in this nation and i think i've i've stayed in this world long enough to be able to know whether things are going forward or backward even as of today uh, naira has this deep so much depreciated again 
at the official market and food prices are skyrocketing, complaints from the market women and the rest of them, and yet the government is not doing anything to alleviate the poverty uh, or to see about the poverty that have been faced uh, by the subject uh, which they are ruling. If you check their st stipends uh, and um, other other uh, 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 money attached to them, allowance attached to this government official, uh, this will tell you that some of these people are not interested in developing the nation, but what they are interested in is to divide and share the money. And that is why some people are saying, let the nation be divided so that people can go by their way, that they will, uh, when the Biafrans are by themselves, they will be able to uh, devise a means or a way of taking care of themselves. And I will tell you that I feel that um, the population of this nation is becoming too big for the leaders. And I think it's high time uh, they do the needful, do a restructuring or divide the nation and let everybody go because about 200 and something million people I think is very hard for the present government to control. And as the day goes by, the nation is plunging into heavy hunger, malady, fashionness, uh, and the rest of them. Look at uh, what is actually happening. Now, CDB, let's go down to matter that concerns uh, Mazen and the Kano Omadike one of Ndibo. Uh, remember the other day a video that was trending that Mazen and the Kano uh, has condemned uh, killing in the southeastern part of Nigeria. All that information has surfaced again that Nam the Kano denies condemning killing of soldiers in the southeast. Let's go down uh, to the full detail of the information. As IDB, Ifanye Jofo uh, has said his client, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Nam the Kano, never condemned the killings of soldiers in, in Nigeria army by his group. A report, not by Concise News, has stated that the IPOB leader condemned the killing of six soldiers by the group's militant wing, the Eastern Security Network. The report said the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Nam the Kano, has condemned the killing of six soldiers by the group and the Eastern Security Network. The six soldiers came under attack by IPOB group and its military arm, ESN, at Obikobia Junction Checkpoint in Obingwaloku government area at John Aba Metropolis. Reacting, a Jofo issued a statement saying the foregoing statement and their apparent or intended meaning are utterly and inherently false in every material, material particular. A Jofo said, despite the news platform knowing the information to be false in every material particular, it still went ahead to mischievously and maliciously publish same for obvious on subtle reason to really call and designate our client he therefore demanded a published and express unambiguous and unqualified apology to our client adding that a failure to do so we see his client call in aid all known and available instrument of law against the platform uh, meanwhile uh, this one is coming from Mazin and the canos legal council that's cano uh, did not apologize uh, or condemn the killing. Meanwhile, uh, we'll still go back to see if we can find that video or maybe as, uh, uh, what's his name, a uh, Jofo, might be in the right place to properly arrange that particular English that was used there. Of course, uh, he, is, he is a lawyer and um, he knows what to do and he knows uh, what uh, language to use in order to be able to pass that particular message appropriately. Now, as it be, uh, information will drop from my table again. They say civil war. He said we can't forget how we lost uh, 3,962 men cross River Monarch. Uh, of course, you know that uh, catawals and fire, fire and brimstone have been the state condition of um what is it called river state recently due to local government council uh, chairman that seat have been the top notch of the moment and of course you know that um politicians have uh, they are actually using some of these things 
uh, for what is called their political gain, their own personal aggrandizement because they actually want to put their own people there, people who they will be able to control. Meanwhile, this is where I'll be winding down the curtain. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you for listening. God bless you.